Hey everyone, Dollistic here, and I'm just itching to talk about dolls today. I'm itching to talk about dolls that are coming out, and I really want to talk about the Rainbow High releases, because there are quite a few coming out in the next, like, month or two, some of which are already available to purchase online, and they'll be showing up on retail shelves really, really soon. Um, we're only going to be talking about the ones that have been officially announced, so, like, Shadow High Series 3 and the, like, the new... I think they're called like the new friends rainbow high dolls basically the ones with different bodies we're not <laughs> i'm not going to talk about those just because they're not like officially announced yet they do have stock photos but they haven't been officially announced and i know that mga has a history of taking people's channels down and i have you know worked hard to grow my channel over the past like almost a year and i don't want to lose it just because i put like a stock photo in there that shouldn't be <laughs> so we're not gonna be talking about those what we are going to talk about is the rainbow junior high dolls series three is it series three because they're all labeled as special edition but like not everything is special edition rainbow high like we have to calm down with that title we're going to talk about those we're going to talk about the fabulous fashion dolls the like the runway line pretty much and we'll talk about the color and create dolls because i'm kind of really excited about those like as someone who is like a really amateur customizer that seems really exciting to me and I think the dolls are pretty so we're gonna start with junior high series three we're gonna tentatively call it series three just for the sake of expediency here first up we have junior high Kaya so this little girl this little gremlin I love her so I think she has like a different face mold than the other junior high dolls which is really good because I am a staunch believer in the fact that Kaya was a victim of the original face sculpt like I think with just a few slight modifications on a re-release she like with just a, a little bit of an updated face mold she would really kill so I'm happy to see that her junior high is getting a new face sculpt I like that she has her classic hair blend those like gorgeous candy heart colors live the hairstyle itself is a little boring she's basically got the stella i kind of wish they had given her like on her original doll she has the dutch braids but i guess i can put a picture here for reference if you haven't seen the original kaya but like if you're a rainbow high fan you pretty much know most of the dolls i would say so i kind of wish they had kept the dutch braids or even like braided her whole head maybe I don't know it's just it's it's a little boring you know it, it's the same hairstyle we've seen on several different rainbow high dolls now so just some you know something different would have been nice but that's okay um I love her edges she's got two little hair clips which I love because again call back to her to her original release um her outfit is cute it's a little underwhelming I'll say because I feel like Kaya's original release had a lot of had a lot of character to it and I feel like this is a little safe like, it's just a hoodie, a skirt. It, it's just a hoodie and a skirt, you know? And while it's pretty, and I like that it says Mi Amor, and the skirt is that, like, reflective silver material that they used on her pants and her original doll, I just wish there was more character to it. Even if they had put... So, on her original doll's pants, they have the red hearts printed on top of the reflective fabric, and it looks very cool. On here, it, the skirt is just a little boring, you know? It's just a little simple skirt. I love the rainbow stitching. That's pretty cool. But yeah, it's it's just that. I think the real star of this outfit is her shoes, which is unfortunate. <laughs> but her shoes are super cute. Like, I love them. And yeah, I don't really have too much to say other than that. They're just really beautiful. It looks like her, the strap of the, like the toe strap is flocked again, like on her original. So love that. She has hearts on her heels. Love that. I love the colors they chose. And then her backpack. Junior High, once again, does not come with stands, by the way, which I think is absurd that for $25, you can either get, like, Shadow High Series 2 or you can get a Junior High doll with, like, nothing. That's, like, that's insane to me. <laughs> but anyway, uh, the backpack is very cute. It's made out of, like, an iridescent material, and it does have the hearts printed on it, so I love that. I just wish those were on the pants, which, I mean, I guess if you have some, like, iron-on vinyl or something, you could do that to her skirt. But, you know, I <laughs> I want the doll to come out of the gate looking good. I don't want to have to modify her to be, you know, worth it. Will I still be getting her? Yeah, absolutely, because I love Kaya. I'm, I'm a Kaya lover. Okay, and now we are on to Avery. If Avery has one fan, it's me. I love this Avery. I only have one issue with her, and that's that her hair has tinsel in it again. Other than that, I love her. 
<laughs> I truly think I'm the one, like, Avery doll stan. <laughs> like, I absolutely stan her. I love her original doll. I just hate her wigs, which weren't really her fault. I don't know why they didn't give her rooted hair to begin with. But yeah, her junior high doll is so adorable. I love her makeup. I love the lip that they chose for her. This, like, metallic pink is gorge. This outfit is stunning. It's something... I mean, yes, it's, again, a top and a skirt but it's something completely new I don't think we've had this style skirt or this style top so far and certainly not black with like the rainbow stitching I think it's incredible this necklace looks like a new sculpt and it looks beautiful and then her shoes are a little underwhelming but honestly I think they go with the outfit just fine so that doesn't really bother me and her little backpack is pretty cute there's I mean there's not really much to talk about it's just cute like she is an adorable doll can't wait now to Holly and Laurel, and I'll start with Holly because she is, you know, the warm color scheme and red comes first on the rainbow. So Holly, she is adorable. I love these outfits. I know there's been some like, <laughs> I know there's been a little bit of talk about them not being like great, but honestly, I think they're incredible. These are some of the best junior high outfits on the twins specifically. These are some of the best junior high outfits that we've gotten and the most like complete. I think that's a big complaint I have for the junior high dolls is that they often feel like afterthoughts. They don't feel like as much care went into them as their original dolls. And it honestly, for some of them, doesn't even look like the budget went in. So it's good to see on Holly and Laurel and on Avery. Uh, to be honest, that it does look like the something was done with the budget. I think Avery is a good example of being a simple outfit, which is crazy to say because obviously the construction of the outfit is like impeccable and like beautiful and stunning. It's a great design, but it is more like visually simplistic, I'll say, whereas this has more like oomph visually to it and it just looks like more. So anyway, Holly is beautiful. I love the bow on the front. I love the cut of the dress. I like that they come with stockings. I like the little shoe sculpt that they have. I love that they have scrunchies in their hair colors and you can see that there's a gradient on the scrunchie. That's exciting. Um, and then the bag is cute. And then onto Laurel, who is just the reversed version of Holly. She is adorable. I will say I actually think, even though Laurel is my favorite twin, I think Holly served a little bit harder just because she looks more cohesive because because again, they sort of, I, I know I mentioned this in my tier video, but Laurel feels like, I don't know, Laura just doesn't feel correct. Like there's just little choices about her that definitely should have been made different to match her color scheme better. Again, she was given a bright pink lip and I hate it because it's not even the same color pink as Holly has. Holly's is more of like a peachy, like an orangey peachy tone that goes with her color scheme really well. And then Laurel just has this bright abrasive pink for no reason. I'm glad that she got black instead of white like her sister because I think that made her look a little more cohesive. But yeah, it's just weird. And then the choice to make her bag that specific color purple insane why is it that bright like red purple when nothing on her is that color purple the color purple in her hair isn't even that color I don't know just 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 a weird choice <laughs> but yeah I love the junior high twins I mean I love the original devious twins too so and I'm not going to talk about crystal and Amaya because they are just re-releases of the original dolls so we're going to move on to the fabulous fashion runways starting out we have ruby um, I'm gonna go in rainbow order. <laughs> so, Ruby. Um, I keep going back and forth on whether I like this outfit because I didn't particularly like it in the show. I think I like it a little bit more on the doll, but I don't know. Ruby has never really served to me. Her aesthetic is just one that I don't really mesh with, so I... <laughs> I've never been the biggest fan of her dolls. Like, I don't have her original release. I have her cheer doll. I think her cheer doll is the best she has ever looked. <laughs> like, ever. And then every other doll has been below that. Sad. But... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's interesting. She has a beanie, which I hate beanies. And the beanie has a veil, which is strange. I don't know. It's a, like, it's a cool outfit. Like, the construction is really neat. You can definitely tell that they put, like, effort into making it look good. It even looks like the lacing on the top is, like, actually laced through. So that's great. Um, yeah, just, just not really giving. Her second outfit, that, like, little slip dress and the jacket. Um, the jacket is really neat. I like that piece, but to be real, we've had that on other dolls. So it's not really like new or unique. It's just like, it's interesting. I think it fits with Ruby's aesthetic really well. It's just a little underwhelming 
you know? And I kind of wish they had given her second outfit, like, pants or shorts. Because I just feel like Ruby is more of a pants and shorts kind of girl. I don't think she's wearing a lot of dresses, but that's just my opinion. All right, and then Poppy. Oh my god, I'm pretty sure Poppy is, in my opinion, the best of the Fabulous Fashion Dolls. Her outfit is beautiful. The, like, monarch butterfly wings being the entire outfit is so stunning. Her makeup is gorgeous. Her hair looks amazing. The butterfly clips in her hair, those shoes, like, I think it just all works. I think it all works really well. And it is a little, like, jarring that the back of the fabric is white and you can see it. <laughs> but I, I that really doesn't bother me. <laughs> like, to be honest, that, that doesn't bother me. But yeah, I am so excited. And she has the long acrylic nails. Very excited for that. And for her second outfit, I love this second outfit, this, like, fifth element feeling like top and skirt combo it's so gorgeous do i think it matches poppy's vibe no i actually feel like this would work way better on like michelle although michelle is more of a neon orange not like a yellow orange but like this outfit is so cute like i'm so ready to put it on poppy i feel like michelle or i mean you could put it on mina as well but mina I don't know, Mina doesn't really have that vibe either. It's just the color scheme matches. <laughs> so I don't know. But she's beautiful. Like, it's beautiful, obviously. Again, I think Poppy is the winner. And now to Sunny. Ooh, I love this. I think this was probably the most difficult outfit for them to construct. This, like, upside-down umbrella. It is gorgeous. I think this Sunny is beautiful. I love her hair. I love the shoes. I love the outfit. It's so good, like, top to bottom. I wish she had on, like, a bracelet or something, or maybe, yeah, just, like, a bracelet, maybe, like, a, a small necklace, I don't know, but she is stunning. I love that her hair is braided into the pigtails, so good. The construction of the outfit looks incredible, the fabric looks nice, and I learned from watching X Canadensis's video on this sunny that the way they, they've they done the outfit, because I was just curious how they constructed this, it's like one piece of fabric that's then turned inside out, and there is a whole, like, upside-down plastic cage structure that they put into the dress to keep its shape like that. It's so neat. And then her second outfit, um, it's just recolors of other characters' items. So you've got Poppy's Series 1 jacket, just in yellow, which is cute, and it's an incredible piece, so, like, that's great. And then you have Violet sequin dress from series one. And it, it, <laughs> if y'all been watching my channel for a minute, you know I don't like the sequin dresses. I I, ugh, I don't like it. <laughs> I just, I don't think it looks good. But I mean, when you have this first dress, like, why are you putting on the second outfit? You know, you know. <laughs> Jade. Um, I go back and forth on her <laughs> because she was actually my favorite design in the show. But I knew that if they made a doll out of it, obviously she wouldn't look like that. Because, like, you can't... <laughs> There's no way to have, like, the electrical current on a dress on a child's toy. <laughs> so, like, that was never gonna happen. But I think they did the best they possibly could to make it into doll form. And I think they did a good job. It does look a little... I mean, let's be real. The, the lightning effect does look a little cheap but I think it works for what they were going for, so I will give it points for that. I think the dresses underneath look great, like the chainmail, which I imagine is just like a silver thread on top of the little black dress underneath, so I think that looks good. Um, I have seen pictures of her shoes without the, you know, the lightning effect on top of it, and they look incredible. Like, they put the budget into those shoes. I'm so excited for them. And we finally have a Jade doll that has makeup that actually looks like she would have done that. Because in the show, she's known for doing these, like, extreme makeup looks. And she has never once had an extreme makeup look on her dolls. And it is very exciting to see this, like, dark lip, this, like, very vibrant green eyeshadow. I'm very ready for it. And she's got hair accessories, which is great because she deserved them. <laughs> and then her second outfit, um, the hoodie, hate it. I know that's going to stain her body, so it's never going to go on her. It's pretty much the same hoodie that Emmy Vonda from Series 3 had. Well, not the same, because obviously it's got different, like, embroidery and stuff, different designs. But, like, I know the, <laughs> the effect is going to be the same. So I'm not a fan of it. Love this skirt. Absolutely live for this skirt. It's so good. Like, the green, the vibrant green snakeskin and all these, like, zippers. So good. Very ready for this jade. Now for Skylar. I think Skylar, like, served hard 
on this doll. I was not at all a fan of this look in the show, but seeing it on her doll, I could not be more impressed. Like, she looks incredible. They gave her the curly hair again, which I think every single doll Jade had, or, oops, every single doll that Skylar has should have had these curls from the beginning, because it just, like, I don't know, it does something to the doll that just, like, the waves don't, like, she needs these curls. She looks so good. She has the long fingernails, epic, those, like, strappy heels, perfect. And yeah, just the construction of this outfit is incredible. I'm so ready to have the Skylar. Which is my first time saying that, like, ever. <laughs> I've never, I have never been, like, a Skylar fan. Like, her original doll, I wasn't a big fan of. She grew on me, but I wasn't a fan. Wasn't really a fan of her cheer doll. Wasn't really a fan of her Winter Break doll. Although, I have completely flipped on that. I think she is incredible now. And then, like, her Junior High doll was just boring. <laughs> but, like, this Skylar, this Skylar right here, amazing. And her second outfit is just as amazing. This denim mini dress is insane. It looks so good. <laughs> and I actually think it's backless, which is pretty impressive. And I can't tell if that's supposed to be a fanny pack or if it's just like a shoulder bag, but it's cute. Oh, Violet. Violet, Violet, Violet. Another one where I did not like the look in the show. And I don't know if I like it on the doll either. I don't know. I'm just sort of tired of seeing Violet. Like, <laughs> I'm kind of tired of seeing all of the Series 1 girls, if I'm being honest. Like, we've moved on as a society. And, like, we, we've we moved on from these girls. Like, let's, <laughs> let's, let's have something new. But, like, she's not terrible. I think it's good. I think they did the best they could to construct the outfit. And it's the most simple of all of the runway dolls. So that's good. Um, The shoes are a little weird because you can even tell in the stock photos that they're not fitting properly. But, like, it is what it is. Um, I think her hair looks good. I'm glad she has hair accessories. I think her makeup looks really great. Love her nails. And then the reason I think I will end up buying her, but probably on sale, is her second outfit. This little white fur bolero coat is so adorable. And then putting it on top of this, like, I don't even know, this, like, glittery velvet mini dress. I It's so cute. I'm so, I don't know what it is. I'm just enamored by it. I, like, I want <laughs> I want that little dress. It's so cute. I don't think it's, I don't think it's in Violet's, I don't think it's Violet's color necessarily, but I mean, neither are the feathers on the dress. So, you know, it just is what it is. But like, cute. She's cute. Last of the fashion runway dolls, Amaya. Another white haired Amaya I am so excited for because I never got the original white haired Amaya. So I am very into this. Now, I will say it, <laughs> I don't like that the rainbow fabric is so sheer. Like, you can see her knee through it. That's a little funky to me. But I do like the outfit. It's really cute. I like her hair. I like that she comes with bracelets. I enjoy her makeup. I like her nails being long. But yeah, I just don't like that the fabric is so sheer. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But she is cute, and I do plan on getting her, so... <laughs> Her second outfit I think is really cute. I, it looks to be almost exactly the same thing as her original doll came with, but instead of being a top and skirt, it's just a little mini dress again with the like rainbow stitching on it, but it looks really good. I like it. The construction of it looks nice. I'm worried about the, um, the, like, the chest cups being off because I've had such bad luck with that in the past. A lot of the pieces that I've gotten from Rainbow High that have those cups... The, they aren't sewn properly <laughs> and I kind of hate it but it is what it is oh my god and her bag incredible just just stunning now onto the color and create dolls these are the like customizable rainbow high dolls so they come with white hair completely white outfits white shoes and they also come with like other outfit pieces and markers for you to color everything so first up we've got I think they're just calling them by their eye color. So this girl is purple eyes, we'll say. I am in love with her. I think she deserves brown eyes, but I am in love with her. She has, uh, it looks to me like the same face sculpt as Nicole and Sabrina. And that is one of my personal favorite head sculpts. It took me forever to realize why I love Sabrina like so very much because she has the same head sculpt as Nicole. So purple eyes. One, stop giving dolls purple eyes. Said that I've said this so many times. Stop it. She is just meant to have brown eyes. She's so beautiful. 
I'm not saying that these eyes aren't pretty. It's just we've seen them so much. Love her face. Love her makeup. It is those lips. Wow. I love when Rainbow High gives their dolls like nude lips. So good. So she is stunning. And then we'll talk about the pieces. I actually think all of them come with the same pieces. So we'll talk about them with her and then like probably not mention them on the next ones. Her base outfit is just this little white sparkle t-shirt, a white pair of jeans that have Rainbow High printed up the leg, and then just like some strapped heels. It's cute. It's a cute little fit. And then her extra pieces are... So in this photo, it makes it look like she comes with three shirts. I'm very sure that's not true. I'm pretty sure it's just what she's wearing. This rainbow shirt and then these like sneakers. So... This little, like, there's a little rainbow t-shirt. I'm pretty sure it's the same one that Jade came with. And then the platform sneakers that are the ones that Georgia came with. And, like, they're cute. Like, everything is cute. Everything. Oh, and the little scrunchie. And, again, it's all cute. I just think the real beauty is in their face. Like, their face and the fact that she has the curly hair. Incredible. I cannot wait to get this doll. And I'm going to hope they go on sale pretty quickly because I want multiples of her so I can do eye swaps and like color their hair different ways because like I definitely want to give one of them like brown hair. And then just for funsies, I'll show this little stock photo that they had of her like already colored. And I think it's pretty neat that you can tell that they did this with markers. Now, I don't know if they did it with the markers that came, the set comes with, but you can tell that they did it with the markers and I like that. So that's cute. Like you can, you can even see on the hair where it's like wet from the marker. So I, I do appreciate that because they have done some photoshopped images of these that are like, you can tell they're photoshopped and not like actually colored, but like this is colored and it shows like that they have really good potential. Now is a kid going to be able to do this? Probably not, but she's super cute. I like the creatability that these dolls have. All right. And now to green eyes. Um, I, I recognize this face, but I don't know who it is. I feel like it's one of the K-pop girls. Like, it kind of looks... Is it? Is it Tessa? I feel like it's either Tessa or Tiara. I don't know. I, I can't super tell. If you know, let me know down below. But she's super cute. I Again, her makeup is really soft. I like it. I like the color green they did for her eyes. Her lips, they gave, like, a nice berry color. Very pretty. And she's got the, like, round lip instead of the... um. Is it the Cupid's bow? I think that's what they call it. I love, I do that on some of my customs. And then her hair is just in two like straight pigtails. I, uh, it's, she's cute. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> and she has the same pieces as the others. And you can see she comes with the rainbow markers. And then I will put up the image of her colored in with the markers. Very cute. I love the pink hearts, the like pink flames on the bottom. My biggest issue is the sneakers. Like, you can tell that the markers do not stick well to those sneakers. I think they did the best they could, but, like, you can tell that it doesn't work super well. <laughs> um, and I don't think I mentioned this for purple eyes, but the markers are washable. You can wash the clothing pieces, and you can wash their hair to get the marker out. Now, mind you, they come with stark white hair, so those markers may stain. I don't know. I'm a little, like, <laughs> I'm a little scared to use them on any of those pieces. I'll probably use them on, like, the second t-shirt to see if they're actually washable, you know, just so I don't ruin my doll. <laughs> okay, and now we have Blue Eyes, whose face sculpt I don't recognize whatsoever. She is very cute. She kind of reminds me of Victoria a little bit. I love the extremely soft pink that they used for her lips love her blushing. I love her eyebrow color. Uh, but yeah, and then she, again, she comes with the same exact pieces as the others. Um, and her hair is a little boring. It's just the little like half up, half down we've seen a ton of times. I do like that she has like the one little like bang piece coming out. So that's cute. Very, very simple. And here is the image of her colored in. I think she's adorable. This, I, I think she's the weakest of the three. <laughs> I just think this little image of her, like whoever colored her in did a good job. I think she's cute. I like the, like the ombre that they did with the rainbow in her hair. Okay, and then last but not least, we will be talking about the Sunny and Luna 2-pack, something that I very much plan on buying when they show up in stores. I am so excited for them. So here is the shot of them together. They are so adorable. I, I'm so ready for them. I was never the biggest fan of Sunny's original doll, and I was never the biggest fan of Luna's original doll, but they grew on me. 
And I think this is like, I just, oh, I love this two pack. I love twin dolls as it is. So I'm excited to see them again. And then we'll do their separate ones. So we'll talk about Sunny and then Luna. So here is Sunny and everything she comes with. You can see all of her little barrettes, her little like bear satchel. It's so cute. And this outfit that is wild. I think this fits Sunny's aesthetic to a T. Kind of hate that they gave her the Crocs with heels because they're so ugly but she is cute i love this sculpt for her face i love the makeup look this like yellow eyeshadow with the smoked out brown so good her eyebrows are great her edges are great the hairstyle itself is just incredible she has like these figure eights in her hair in the back and i know those are gonna be hard as hell like they're gonna be gelled so much but it's cute i love this jacket and she had i wonder if that's a full like shirt underneath because you can see there's like a cuff coming out of the end of the jacket sleeves. I wonder if that's attached to the jacket or if that's on the shirt underneath. I don't know. I'm curious. But it is very cute. I love the little cat with the unicorn hoodie on her shirt. This amazing skirt that is reminding me of her junior high doll where it's got the vinyl over a skirt piece. And it's got all these little like emojis on it. Oh, so cute. And her socks hearkening back to her original release with those rainbow socks but instead they are leg warmers this time i love it this doll is amazing and then on to luna um i think the budget went into sunny and i hate saying that but like <laughs> when you look at luna she just doesn't have as much going on she's very pretty like don't get me wrong i think this is like luna's best form of course she's only had two dolls but this is luna's best form so far I love her edges. I love the style that they put her hair into. I almost kind of wish they had done those buns all over her head instead of just having the two and then letting the rest fall. I wish they had been like multiple buns all over her head. I think it would have looked incredible. But you know, this is Rainbow High. They're gonna have a girl's hair just laying down. <laughs> her makeup looks wonderful. I like the earrings. Her outfit is where it sort of falls apart to me. So in the video that these dolls are referencing, she has on this bodysuit underneath. And it's got these like smoky tenderly designs on it that really like, I feel like is necessary for the outfit to look as good as it should. So just having this little black t-shirt is boring. Let's be real. But the metallic corset piece is great. Um, the skirt is really cool. I love that it's got like actual rings in the fabric between the belt and the skirt. It looks good. I am in love with these shoes. They look so incredible. They remind me of the Monster High Frankenstein shoes. So they look great. And I love her nails, having the long nails again. I think I'm going to give her... So I've got two Mila's. I think I'm going to give her my second Mila's tights and mesh shirt so that it looks like she has something on underneath instead of the t-shirt, just to plus up her a little bit. And then you can see her bag over here on the side. I think it's incredible. It kind of looks like an old school lunchbox, which is fun. Like, it looks like that in the best way. <laughs> and it's got, like, Shadow High, the Shadow High logo and, like, moons on it. So good. All right, well, that is all of the dolls that I plan on talking about right now. Again, I would love to talk about, like, Shadow High Series 3, and I would love to talk about the <laughs> the Rainbow High, like, New Friends dolls, but, like, I'm not a doll news channel, and I'm, I don't, I don't, I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want my channel to get taken down because I talk about those, or because I show pictures of those, but, like, just know that I have a lot of thoughts on them, and I kind of love most of them, so, uh... <laughs> if you want to see those pictures, go on to Instagram, go on to Twitter, and just, like, look for them, I promise you it's worth it, they're so pretty, um, but yeah, thank you all so much for watching um i know this isn't like something i typically do i just i find myself looking at these stock photos a lot and being like wow i'm in love with these i'd love to talk about them but you know the doll news cycle kind of moves moves on like right now everyone's talking about sweet sweet <laughs> so we're not all talking about the rainbow high dolls anymore but yeah i just wanted to do a little you know informal thoughts video all right everyone well thank you so much for watching um i hope you enjoyed please like comment subscribe let me know down below like your opinions on these dolls i'm not saying let me know your opinions on all of them however if you do i will read the entire comment and i will comment back point by point <laughs> so that's your challenge if you want to talk about every single doll i talked about go for it baby i will read the whole thing okay <laughs> you can put a whole dissertation in my comments and i will read it all right thank you all again thank you all so much for watching and yeah please have a great day i will see you in my next video bye